story time. I barely ever got along with my grandmother back in the day. She would lecture me for hours on end on just about every way that I fail as a human being, as a son, and why I'm not enough to be loved. At least that's how I took it. If that's what she tried to imply, what really started to bug me was how she beat around the bush about it. Like she couldn't muster the guts to tell me to my face that she simply didn't like me. Wasting my childhood with a million and one ways to convey that she didn't like me led to internalized rage. The problem was I grew up in a culture where talking back to an elder was on par with a war crime. So was turning your back to an elder. And walking away. So was disagreeing with an elder. If one told you that you'd never amount to anything, you'd better eat that up and agree. The wrong facial expression to what you're being told warranted capital punishment. Let far alone what I did, very, very far alone. Years more went on, and one very particular heated confrontation, I punched my grandmother in the face. Wow, how did we get here? But that's not even it. The guilt of this which lingered afterwards was then exploited by my previous pastor on three different occasions over two years. In his self-righteous ego trip, I wasn't allowed to get over it or even heal from what drove me to it because this supposed spiritual father of mine loved to take advantage of the whole thing for a three-minute rush of a superior high. I'm not sure this man knew what he was playing with. He had no idea. My grandma and I are Gucci nowadays. We're good. I'm sure that I'm not the only one who has encountered the betraying bite of a narcissistic pastor. I am here to do damage to every self-exalted pastor's little delusion of I would never do such a thing, therefore I am better than thou. Are you 1000% sure? I will feed the carcass of your ego to your neighbor's hounds. More importantly, I'm here to bring healing and protection to God's children who are worthy to thrive absolutely free of guilt because they have been declared so by the blood of Jesus Christ on Calvary. And that's it. That's why I care. Goodbye. God loves you. Good night. I want you best believe God is raising an army of believers who will take no more of this competitive BS. I'm not out here for revenge, but it's inevitable that you will pay. Because when God exalts his righteous ones, who will you have left to take advantage of? You'll be left by yourself, twiddling your thumbs. Wondering where did I go wrong?